So good evening. Uh, I guess the buffet is starts to be very appealing. So what I offer in exchange is a right to space to see what's going on up there. My name is Luca Rossettini. I'm CEO and co-founder of the Orbit. And the Orbit is a device for satellites to bring them back into the atmospheres and destroy them when they stop working, minimizing the risk of collision with other spacecraft of people on the Earth and liability for space owners. And the company was funded last year in Italy thanks to a venture capital seed investment and now is established in the US as well. Um, you know, this is the team. Uh, although in the past I was so close to become an astronaut, we are not a bunch of kids dreaming of flying into space. We have more than 40 years of experience in the space fields. But, however, if you want to travel into space, you have to be aware that up there there are more than 6,000 satellites uh, flying at 80,000 miles per hour, but only 800 are actually working. All the others are completely uncontrolled. Did you hear about the satellites that fell a few months ago on the Earth? At this moment, somewhere overhead, an old broken satellite is plummeting to Earth. No one's quite sure exactly where it will land. And then this may sound like a very familiar story, and it should. This is the third satellite to crash back to Earth in under five months. This isn't the last one that's going to be coming down. In, uh, in about uh, a couple of years, in 2013, uh, a U.S. Uh, Japanese satellite is going to fall out of space. Today, satellite owners spend a huge amount of money to solve this problem, so to move their satellites up and down to avoid collisions and for the deorbiting phase that is compulsory by law. And also, if you want to send something into space, you will be liable for any damages you will produce in space or on the Earth. And, you know, the satellite market is pretty big. We are talking about 150 billions growing 12% every year. So we are facing a very critical situation. 1,200 new satellites are going to be launched in the next eight years. So how do we solve the space debris problem? If you look out there, you can find solutions that are not very, very good. Uh, they are either not economically uh, convenient for satellite owners, so satellite owners are not going to apply to, to use the solutions, or they are not really decreasing the risk of collisions. So that's the orbit. The orbit is a device with a very high reliab uh, reliable propulsive technologies. You plug the device on the satellite before launch, and when the satellites, for any reason, stop working, you just activate the orbit that push the satellite in a very precise and safe orbit to burn the satellite into the atmospheres over the Pacific Ocean. The orbit is completely independent from the satellite, so it works even if the satellite is not working, and allow very quick re-entry, just a few hours compared to the, to the 25 years required today by the international regulations. And we're not just talking about, uh, you know, risk avoidance benefit for satellite owners. We are talking about making also more revenues, increasing the mission uh, time of the satellites that can allow satellite owners to make up to $20 million more for every mission. And we are pretty well in, in introduced in the industry, so we, knows, uh, we know uh, the aerospace industry and the national and international governative agencies. And I'm proud to announce that we just tested the demonstrators uh, at the end of January that, you know, by chance I have it here. <laughs> this is the kid. And this is the test that we made in Germany. And the results of the test was that the performance were outstanding, much more higher than what we were expecting. So these guys can fly. It doesn't have propellant inside, so you are sure here. Don't worry about that. <laughs> but still, this guy works. Uh, what we are asking for is $10 million for the development of the flight model, the one that really goes up, the, the one that we can sell, and the go-to-market phase. So thank you very much. Now, if you want to know more about my business model, model the floor is yours. <laughs>